Okay, here's a, here's a typical example um, of placing the road uh, into the right position. We've got a situation here where we're coming from a lower level, the perimeter of, uh, of the village, uh, perimeter road, and we've got to raise up a gradient here between two houses and also take the road around the top house you see here. Uh, the denivelation, the difference in the level here is around, around eight meters. And uh, one, of the, uh, one of the criteria is that people are walking, as we said, no cars. People are walking, maybe bicycles, little go-karts, push chairs, wheelchairs. Now we can't cater for everybody and everything at all times. But those considerations are, are uh, paramount at, at all times. So what we do is we, 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 we end up uh, simply placing metal stakes like this here into a position, walking the, the, the track of the road, looking to uh, uh, evaluate as, as, as best as possible what the road would be used for, what the verges would be used for. For example, here behind the camera uh, is a fantastic stunning view for 40 miles. So what we need to do is create the road but either side of the road we've got like a picnic area, we've got an ease of access area that's tiered, that takes into account the 8 metre uh, de uh, difference in height, but also the accounting for the road. So it meanders through, we, we, we simply place the stakes, we walk it a few times, we think about it for a few days, um, and then we make a decision. So this is a, a good example of the first stage of how we set the road in position. So, the second stage uh, is not complicated, but this is the point where the decision that was made, three or four days later, we actually take action. So what we've done here is we've cleared the road, uh, we've cleared the path, we now start to think about the verges, the steepness of the verges, where the connections. This second stage now is all about connection. Connection from the steps, from the houses, the, uh, the slope that uh, has to be in place for the grass, where the flowers will go, where the connections of the pathways, uh, there's many pathways which are, are approximately a metre and a half wide, that's a metre and a half, uh, which run into the roads, uh, accounting for the weather of course, accounting for the uh, smoothness of the slope. So this second stage now is, is now uh, looked at in detail and we clear the ground as we say we have a connection here about 100 meters on uh, there's a connection to the view cafe garden which is already done in place we have a connection just to my left here which is already in place this is, was obviously the awkward area where the two now connect together and move on to the next area of the village so it's sort of organically grown and at each stage uh, we look at it critically each meter at a time and as we're laying the road, if it doesn't feel right, we will change it. We will change it, we'll stop, turn the machines off, sit for a day, have a look, have a think, and we often would come up with another solution fairly quickly, it's fairly obvious as it, as it happens. So this is stage two, three of the construction. Making the connection between the roads and the verges, the pathways, the grass. Uh, very simple again, we use this metal uh, sheeting, here are the old sticks again, we place the sticks, we sculpture the shape of the edge of the roads, we connect them with the verges, the grass verges can be anything from level to maybe one metre above the road, so the road snakes between a bank, a grass bank, I'll show you that later. So all these, all these, these criteria are taken into account, but the simple manufacturing process is mud, dirt, stones, gravel, foundations, earth, grass, seed, grass, bank and you end up with a natural connection uh, and a meandering road that runs into a pathway. Just give you an example. Very simple technology. Okay, here's an example of exactly that happening. You've got the earth either side, you've got a finished pathway here you can see the top level, the finished surface level, you've got the uh, under uh, foundations here, you've got the metal uh, control system, and uh, you can see this is where, I mind the mud, this is where the connection from where we finished, we finished this about three weeks ago, uh, then we travelled around the other side of these houses to make the connection, and this is where the connection will take place. As I say, it's all about connection. 
Just an example.